Hi guys, it's Dalio from Brits End here. Now if you want to move to an English speaking country, whether it's just for a few months or permanently, you will absolutely need the words and phrases that I'm going to teach you today. And these words and phrases are ones that you can use when finding a place to rent. First of all, let's clarify the meanings of some words that you might hear on your hunt for a house. Tenant. A tenant is a person who pays to stay in a property, for example, a house, a room or a flat. Landlord. A landlord is a person who owns a property and receives the rent money. Rent and let. So the difference between these two words is quite similar to borrow and lend. So a tenant rents a property and a landlord lets a property. Estate agent. An estate agent is a company that handles property. Now they can have two roles. Sometimes you will rent a property from the estate agent or there will be the middleman between you and a landlord. Tenancy agreement. A tenancy agreement is the contract that all tenants sign before moving into the house. Utilities and appliances. So utilities simply means bills and these bills might be for water, gas, electricity and the internet. And appliances are the electrical things that you can use in the property. For example, toasters, dishwashers and tumble dryers. So, let's move on to our phrases. Now let's say you're looking for somewhere to stay and you see somewhere that you like. If you want to go and see it for yourself, you can use these phrases when contacting the landlord or the estate agents. You could say, I'd like to arrange a viewing for, or I'd like to view. For example, I'd like to arrange a viewing for the property on Church Street, or I'd like to view the property on Church Street. Now you can also quote the ID number. On most websites, they have an ID number at the bottom of each advert. So you could say, I'd like to arrange a viewing for the property with the ID number 3562. Now there are probably quite a lot of questions that you want to ask a landlord or estate agent about a property. So if you like a place and you want to ask for some more information, for example about when it's available, you might say, when is the room or when is the flat available? And the landlord might say something like, it is available at the end of next month. Or they might say it is available immediately, which means it's available today. Now, if you really like a place and you want to make the landlord know that you'd like to move in and you want to know when, you can say, when can I move in? You'll probably want to ask some more questions about the area that a property is in and what sort of things are there. So when talking about transport, you can use the question, how are the local transport connections? If you want to be a bit more specific, you could use the question, where is the closest? So for example, where is the closest bus stop? Where is the closest tube station? And where is the closest train station? You might also ask about journey distance and the time it takes. So you might say, how long does it take to get to? For example, how long does it take to get to Waterloo? Or how long does it take to get into central London? Now, if you want to be even more specific, you can ask about things like supermarkets. You might say, where is the closest supermarket? Or where is the closest gym? And your landlord will probably say, Google it. Another important thing when looking for a house is, of course, the price. So with some properties, the tenants will be responsible for paying the bills. This means that they themselves will have to contact the electricity, water and internet companies. However, with other properties, the landlords are responsible for this. So in this situation, you simply pay the landlord one amount each month. If you want to ask about this, you can use the question, are the bills included in the price of the rent? Or are the utilities included in the price of the rent? 
or for short, are the bills included? Or of course, are the utilities included? When asking about the furniture in the house, you might ask the landlord, is the flat furnished or is the room furnished? Now, the landlord might respond by saying something like, it is fully furnished. This means that the whole house has furniture or the room that you will be staying in has furniture and therefore you don't need to buy any more. They might also say that it's partially furnished, which means that there is some furniture but it is not complete. And finally, if they say that it is unfurnished, this means that there is absolutely no furniture in the house and it's your responsibility to buy it. Lastly, if your agency asks you to pay agency fees, and these are usually about 100 or 150 pounds, be aware that this is no longer legal. They now are by law not allowed to ask you for agency fees. So, if they do ask you to pay this, then be sure to look elsewhere for somewhere to live. Before you go, here is an email template which you can use to contact landlords and agencies when you want to arrange a viewing for a house. Hello Bob, I would like to view the property with the ID number 3562 on Chancery Lane. Ideally, I would like to move in on November 1st. When would be the best time and day for a viewing? Thanks, Dahlia. Okay, that's all from me. I hope this will be of help to you and make the painful process of finding a house a little bit easier. And I hope you find a lovely place to suit you. Peace. Thanks, Dahlia. I forgot my name then. <laughs> <laughs> if you put that in at the end, I'm going to kill you or you.